This is EdTech Moment, where we take a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. Today on the show, we're continuing to work on our Google Sites, and we'll look at a couple ways that you can customize the layout of the site and reorder the pages in the navigation. So here I am on the site, and this is kind of the way we left it last time, where we had spent some time choosing a theme, and then we had uh, gone into the fonts and colors section and chosen some um, more interesting fonts for our site as well. So today we're going to continue, and we're going to go back into the More menu, which is where most of your settings are always going to be when you want to start customizing and start changing settings for your site. Now, we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how you can uh, change the format, the layout of your site. And there are two different ways that we can actually get to the layout settings uh, for your Google site. So first, I'm going to show you uh, the more uh, traditional way, the older way. Uh, if I go back to the Manage Site link, just like we did before, and then down to the bottom where we were before. Remember last time we were looking at themes and fonts and colors. And now we can head to this section here that says Site Layout. So the first thing I want to do is uh, show you that we can uh, change the width of the sidebar and then also the order of the pages. And that's something that I'm always getting people asking me, how do I change the order of the pages? Because we saw last time that by default, the pages are set up in alphabetical order. And so if I click on this link that says uh, navigation, so I'm going to click the edit link for the navigation. I can change the title of that section. And right now I have it set so that it automatically organizes my navigation. And that's what we saw before, that it was in alphabetical order, right? Um, and so if I unclick that, now I can see my pages the way they are. And if I wanted to, for example, if I wanted to uh, move the calendar section up, I can click on the calendar section and then use the up arrow to move it up in the menu. So let's move it up there so that the first thing they see is home. Now the second thing they see is calendar. Okay, and maybe I want to move the assignments up as well. I can move the assignments over there. Now, if I wanted to change the hierarchy of pages in addition to the order, uh, maybe I wanted uh, the calendar to be a subsection of assignments. I could actually move it down and then move it over, and now that would be a subpage. I don't want to do that, but I did want to show you uh, that it's possible. So let me move that one back up where I want it. If I wanted to add additional links or pages, to my navigation bar, I could do that there. So if I wanted to, for example, add a link out to uh, Cool Math Games or add a link out to the school's website, I could just simply click Add URL. I can choose what text is going to display when they show the link, and then put in the link of the um, put in the address of the link itself. Um, I'm reminded here that I can actually put in email addresses here as well. So I could put in a, a link here that said Email Mr. McKean, and then put in my mail to address and that would actually create an automatic email link. Now, if I want to get into uh, some more of the settings here, I can click on the link that says uh, change the site layout. So I can click on there. Here's where I can choose uh, the site uh, width, the overall width of my site. I can change some settings for the header. I can choose if I want to have a horizontal navigation bar. So by default, we have the, uh, the sidebar navigation. But if I wanted to have a horizontal navigation bar that went across the top, I could choose that as well. And I can choose uh, which side the sidebar is going to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over to the right. And I think it's a little bit too wide. It's taking too, too much of my site. So I'm going to bring it down to 100 pixels. I can also choose if I want to have a, a footer or not. And I usually choose not to have a footer. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK for those settings. Save them here. And then go back to my site using the site link. As I mentioned before, there are two different ways that we can access the layout settings and, and change those settings. The other way, uh, which is a, a newer way, is if I click on the More menu, and now I have an Edit Site Layout button right here. It doesn't take me into a new window, but it just kind of changes the interface here. So now as I mouse over different components, I can you see that things are popping up, and I can start editing. So I have the settings here to turn on and off different things. So if I want the horizontal navigation, I can also set the site, um, site width here. If I mouse over the header and click on it, now all of a sudden the heading um, options pop up, and I can change those from there. And same thing, if I click over here on the sidebar, I have the edit link there, so I can edit the sidebar settings. And if I mouse over the navigation area, then it takes me to the navigation area. So it's, it's maybe a, a quicker way to get into that. Um, so at this point, we have two different ways that we can get in. One, going through the Manage Site page that we've uh, looked at before with all our other settings. And then this one is kind of a more direct way or a quicker way. 
Be sure to come back next week as we learn to add a custom logo and background graphic to the site header to give it a more unique and professional look. In the meantime, visit edtechmoment.com to find more great edtech tutorials like this one. EdTech Moment is pleased to announce our continuing deal with Audible.com. Audible.com is your source for an ever-expanding library of audiobooks. Use our special link, audiblepodcasts.com slash edtechmoment, to set up your trial account and download your first book free. Audible.com also has the ability to gift books, so if you're stumped on the perfect gift for this Christmas season, consider giving an audiobook or subscription from audible.com. Bill and I enjoy providing these EdTech tutorials for you and have a couple ways that you can show your appreciation. Visit our tip jar on the website and feel free to give any amount that you feel EdTech Moment is worth in your life. Or head over to the iTunes store, subscribe to the show feed, and leave a rating or a review. These reviews help us to get featured in the store and help spread the word to others that may also benefit from these tips. You can also tweet questions and comments to us at EdTech Moment. And of course, Thanks for taking just a moment.